I'm going to show you a tutorial today how to do um, a network scan with Nmap. Um, now this is a pretty good tool to use. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you've mastered it, then it's awesome. So again, we're going to be scanning our Metasploitable 2 machine, which is uh, a Linux box, which has um, various different vulnerabilities built into it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and scan for some of those now. Um, so firstly, I'm going to pretend I don't know anything about what the IP is. So I'm just going to do an IF config um, as it's on my network. Oops, if I can spell it. And then I can see that I'm on the slash 24 network. Um, so I'm just going to do a simple scan of um, this entire range here. So what we can do is just copy that address and then do nmap minus sn this is just like a basic um, no port scan just to try and see if there's any hosts up. So um one five one nine two dot one six eight dot fifty nine dot one and we can just do slash twenty four and that tells us that it's gonna scan all two hundred and fifty four hosts on our network. So actually what I might do is add a minus V into that statement um for the velocity, just um shows that I can see what's going on as it's doing it. It's a lot better, isn't it? And you can see straight away it's found a few hosts there. Well, it's found a lot that are down. What have we got here? This one here is up, um, which is actually our machine. So we'll just see if there's anything else that's connected. Nope, just that one. So we can copy that. Now we know the address that we want to scan of the Metasploitable machine. So we can just do nmap minus lowercase s uppercase s. So that's um, like a sin TCP scan. And then we can do minus lowercase s v, and that's like a version scan. So it's going to scan the version of. Um, of uh, everything that's on the network. So, um, and then we will want to select the ports. If you do minus p um, minus, then it will scan all 65,000 hosts, um, or sorry, ports, which is um, exactly what we want. Uh, just in case you try and be sneaky with this and try and put it on something that's, you know, like an unknown port. Um, and then from here, we can just put the address for which we want to scan. And then do minus V again for verbosity. Um, and then what we can do is just uh, specify an output file. So you can do minus O, uh, we'll call it me metasploitable 2.txt. And that just means it's going to write to that file there. Okay, and let's run that there. You can see it's finding tons of stuff already. And that's where the minus V comes in handy because you can see that it's working. And we can also see that it's scanned 65,535 ports. Now it's doing the the uh, services at the moment. It's got 30 services to scan. So I might pause the video at this point because I'm not entirely sure how long it takes. It might, it might take a few minutes. Okay, pausing now. So the scan's now finished and as you can see the SV command has um, let us know uh, what version is running on which port and um, 
which service is also open. So FTP is open running VSTPD 2.3.4. Now that looks like it's definitely vulnerable to uh, to a known exploit. Um, it's worth also doing a UDP scan as well. So we can just bring up that same query and instead of doing a SS for a SYN scan we do a SU for a UDP scan. So the SYN scan was just doing TCP ports so we want to also check out UDP ports. However I'd recommend just removing the minus P option and then just using their default which would be like the top 1000 ports. Um, so we can do that and then just change this to a different writable file call it UDP um, and then we can let that go there you can see it's scanning the top 1000 ports as I previously mentioned um, this is probably going to take a little bit longer so again I'm going to pause the video here okay so that scan took a little bit longer than expected but um, as you can see it's found some UDP ports there as well so looking at port 53 there I see bind 9.4.1 might be worth looking into so I'm going to show you another thing we can do with mmap so if we go back to our TCP command here we can add in a minus uppercase A um, command there and that is basically running some of the top scripts from the script engine within nmap so it's actually really useful um, and with something like this um, it can give us some valuable information into a host so I'm going to use that one and then we can save it again uh, to a exploitable to a uh, that's also TCP so you can save it like that um, and then let that scan and then you'll be able to see the difference in the two scans once it's finished running the various scripts so again I'm just going to pause this because um, it will take slightly longer this time because um, it's got to run numerous scripts against the port scan. Okay, so our minus A option has finished. Um, so, as you can see, it's given us much more information than previously, um, just because it's run these various scripts against it. So, for example, um, it's still found the same amount of ports and done our version information, but it's also run this script um, to see if anonymous FT P login is allowed and it looks like it is so that would be worth something you know to look into um, so that's about it really um, with all these options it should give you a good insight into how Nmap works but there are many other things that you can do with it it's um, a really good tool and I'd highly recommend it thanks for watching guys